YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Timberborn Strategy and Tactics, Episode 7. So, in our last episode, we just finished up our drought, um, and our beavers all survived. Huzzah! Um, but we have a lot of work to do to ensure that the, that whole survival thing becomes a normal practice. Uh, we've got a couple of buildings up here, because we're ready to go up uh, to the next tech level. And we do need to get our water situated a little bit more firmly. Uh, while we do, we, we were able to, uh, survive with our, uh, lake side water stores one in the in here one in here we probably shouldn't have wrecked this one because we could sip at it at least during the wet season um so what i think i'm gonna do here actually is we'll get a water pump we'll just hang it off the side of this building i mean i did it, it reaches further down no reason why you can't uh well actually the 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 reason why you couldn't is if we uh um hmm Uh, getting the uh, the entrance situated maybe a little trickier than uh, than than previously thought. Yeah, it's going to require like a lot of wraparound just to get it on top of there. Might not be worth that. I think what might be more worth it is to clear some of these things out. Get some of these berry bushes off of here, and then we can just slap it there on the ground, and that will that will satisfy things a lot more easily. Yeah, we have our whole thing going up here, and I'm okay with them prioritizing this first because I'd rather them do this first. All right, water wheel is set. Um, that should start turning once it has something to turn. Probably won't actually start spinning, but we should have movement shortly, at least with the water coming back in. Well, what are you doing here? You guys are... Wait, why are you... Uh... Oh, yeah, you're on potato. Oh, you just have carrots in storage, that's all. About to say... All right, we got the gear gearbox here. Looks like they're working on the platform here for this. Building lacks workers. Ooh, we're down a pump master, and that's not good. Um, Forrester, why don't you get in there? There we go. Just pump the brakes on them. All right, now the water's flowing. And now we got that pumping. Excellent. Yeah, get both of those built up, get that factory built on, and then we should be good. And then the water's starting to go a little nuts, but we should have some controlled flooding. Because uh, we know this water is going to go higher. We we built this whole dam for it to fill up this extra amount. Uh, so this is the desired and correct in outcome here. All right, one thing I do want to do now that they've closed this off is I want to get levees all along here. Um, now that is going to require some... Yeah, get up, get up and smell the roses here, Beaver. Um, yeah, that should be good. We can get like a stairway down here to um, get at the trees and what have you. Now that we're building this levee here, because yeah, that is going to flood this area, and that's why we want this levee here. Because that, yeah, this is a little bit of chaos flooding right here. Not not the end of the world. It's not sinking our uh, farmhouse here. So that's kind of normal. What What's your problem? You're full of wheat. 
Because you're full of wheat, probably. Yes? No? Oh, we don't. We haven't. Our haulers are full, are lagging behind. Got some hungry beavers, but not for lack of that. Yeah, neither of our pumps are flooded, so that's a good thing. No one employed, but that's okay. We do need uh, some more water being pumped. Yeah, we do have some, some thirsty beavers here. Unconnected building. Oh, right, yes. There. And now we can get another water pump right here. And that should be built fairly quickly. Let's maximize your priority. Because we need the extra pumping action here. No unemployed beaver. Let's pump the brakes. You should... There, that's better. Ovaro should now start turning planks into gears. We do need a storage for gears. Actually, that might not be a bad thing to put up here. Um, get ourselves like a... Yeah, I know it's going to yell at me for that, but that's okay. Yeah, that works. And that way we have a gear storage. We can actually make that a plank and gear storage, um, because that way we can have planks nearby uh, to feed that. And that would work out quite nicely. All right, I think we're churning and burning now. And we are starting to store things up much nicer. I'm going to uh, set pathways on top of these, make it a little easier for them. And hopefully that should recede the flooding. All right, got our first gear. Got that in order, good. So yeah, we should have plenty of those. The first, the first order of business for, for building gears here is going, or rather using the gears that we build, is going to be this. Alvaro, are you, are you slacking? Are you slacking? Oh, Kimberlin Salmon. And Wilkins, oh, well, because Wilkins isn't there there yet. There we go. Thank you. I like how the, how the gears on the building turn to tell you that they are properly working. Now these things are pretty, um, pretty, um, uh, uh, slow to transmute the, uh, planks into gears here. This may take us a while, especially since we need 20 of these dang things. Um, but at least we're getting, we're getting the production out of our stuff now. And because it requires 120, are you kidding me? Come on, get it back in there, Hovaro. You can't make one gear a day. We don't have, we're, we're not going to survive that long. Thank you very much. Because we got to get, uh, we got to get grist mill in these things. Got plenty of wheat, but can't do nothing without the, uh, without the grist mill a turning. Yeah, it looks like every all all the uh, builders are down here finishing this levee first. Not that we're at, lacking for logs, but it just takes them a little while here. Yeah, this stuff will evaporate on its own. But yeah, look at the look at the size of this river that we're we're sort of creating here. 
Once it, um, yeah, it looks like it wants to flow down here. We'll, we'll corral this. We'll corral this. This is a little bit more chaotic, um, uh, chaotic damming, but we'll be okay. Decent amount of, of, um, Hmm, I wonder if it would be worth my while to make another gear factory just to speed this process up. And actually maybe another grist mill while we're at it, uh, using the same ratios here. Unconnected bill. Oh yeah, you. Oh well, at least since you're unconnected. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's use you to hold gears. And let's ho use you to hold planks. More planks than gears, but that's fine. And then you guys should have that built in no time. Yeah, um, maybe another sacrifice of that would probably be a smart move here to get another thing of gears going, just so we can beer, beer, build our gear-based stuff a little bit more efficiently, especially since we're only going to be getting to use that during the wet season. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get another water wheel here. Yeah, right there should be fine. And then for our gears, I need to remind myself where that is. Not power wheels, not metal. Come on, Pinstar, get it together. Not housing. Gears. So yeah, we've got you like well no, because we need we need room for an axle here. Um because we need to also make another grist mill. Although actually here. Here's what we do. We we scoot you back a smidge meter. We put you like this. We get our water wheel, but we put you back like this. And then we get our lovely T intersection. Actually, no, we get our singleton platform. Then our T intersection. We just zoom in here, flip the T intersection around like this, and then get ourselves another grist mill. I know this is going to require another 20. Does this spit out? Oh my god, this is perfect placement. They spit out onto the same tile. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I want to prioritize this this its platform the water wheel i know i can do a big thing here um and then we're gonna need a couple of platforms over here like that we're just hugging this cliff osha i'm really glad they we they haven't invented osha yet because they'd be uh, having a fit with this setup yeah because we want to get the water wheels uh the water wheel built and the second gear factory built before either of the grist mills this one can go to just normal priority but like i said since there's the higher priority stuff um will be good oh yeah um you guys can be high priority too because we might as well Get this going. Maybe make you guys like medium high priority. So that you actually finish this thing first. Yeah, the water's whipping through here pretty quickly. Yeah, once the um once this stuff evaporates, we'll get we'll regain use of this area. 
That's the main reason I wanted this little levy here, just to control this chaos. And I'll probably, like, narrow the river so that we get more of this green space and it's not all just covered in water. Again, just, just baby steps. Beaver steps, if you will. Alright, we're still having more grown-ups here. Now, the other nice thing I like about the Iron Tears is you can just flat out stop the production of, of new beavers when you're when you don't need to grow your population anymore, um, which is quite nice, I might say. All right, there we go. That is built. Yeah, it's a good thing this building hasn't been built yet, because otherwise they'd have to wait for all this. Yeah, let's let's get these uh, higher priority. Like that. Just to make sure that they finish these up, because we do want to make use of the water wheels while we still have the wet season, because I tell you, they're going to stop once the wet season's there, because the water's not going to be continuously flowing. Now, I do have a project in mind for when the dry season hits, um, but I might, I want to, I want to wait till we get there before I start enacting. I want to, I want to tackle this and focus fire this first before that becomes an issue. I'm really glad these connectors don't actually require gears, but then that would be sort of a, you know, catch 22. All right, we got this going here. So I don't know how much we're going to actually get use out of this particular one. That's okay. We might as well build while we can, see what we can get out of it. I am tempted to get a builder's hut built some somewhere so we can speed up some of these uh some of these projects. All right, water wheels online. Good. We can get a little bit of production out of this. Get a couple of gears going. Um, not going to be able to get, uh, grist made out of our wheat for this season, not until after this, uh, particular one. Isn't connected. Oh, yeah. We got to get these going, too. Otherwise, otherwise the building ain't going to operate. But those should be fairly simple. Yeah, stop delivering logs to that, people. Come on. Focus on these paths first. I know they probably already had their, their delivery scheduled when I changed over the priorities. But yeah, we want to get this up and running and maybe at least get a couple of days worth of gear production. There we go. Now we're operational. Let's pump the brakes on our hauling post so that we can fill the space. Yeah, get some plank deliveries in there. Good. All right, can somebody, can, can Ragni, can you, like, actually work this thing? You lost a day here, bud. All right, once this breeding pod spits out its kit, I'm going to uh, pop it. Um, just because I, I need to slow down the births just a little bit. Come on. Well, it's grow a bunch of grown ups, which is good. We just need the. Uh... All right, good. Off you go. Just need to slow it down just a smidge.
All right, we're up to 40. All right, so the next building that, we, uh, that we're going to be tackling here is uh, going to be a way to sort of well, get a little bit more storage for some of our beavers. And so that's going to involve... Um, utilizing these rooftops efficiently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set up some storages up here. One right here. One right here. Oh, I know it's gonna it's yelling at me. Um, and then one right here. Uh, we're gonna need another. Nope, no, nope, not that. Not that. Hang on. Gonna need another two for platform up here. And then what I'll do is I'll just nix a couple of road tiles down here. So what we'll do is we'll do a one for here, get a couple of stairs, like that. And then we can get a couple of road tiles along here. Now you might be saying, well, Pinstar, how are you going to bridge this gap? Why don't you make another thing? Well, I can't because this thing is here. So we're going to need to unlock another another tech. We are going to need to unlock a suspension bridge, the smallest one, uh, the one by one. Um, so here with this suspension bridge, actually, we need to um, remove these paths first just to make room for it. There we go. So that suspension bridge um, will allow our beavers to cross over um, that little gap left by our shrubbery. Now the last thing that we want over here is some water. Now one thing the, uh, the large water tank is tempting, but we have more things to do with the gear. So we're going to actually build two small water tanks and then maybe flip that to a large one later. But that way, and so what all of these storages up here are going to be, one's going to be for carrots, one's going to be for bread, and one is going to be for grilled potatoes. So that way the beavers can get all their food and drink on uh, in the attic of their of their homes here, and then we just spread this out to here, um, and uh, go from there. So that's our that's our drought building project. All right, good. You're both working on uh, gears now. That's what we like to see. And we're actually using up our planks at a depreciable rate. Um, so we're going to turn on this lumber mill and this power wheel. And we'll do a little brake pumping here. Is our building no longer flooded? Our building is no longer flooded. We still don't really need it. So we'll pump the brakes on our hauling post to get that filled up. All right. We're going to put this as our priority so that this other grist mill doesn't soak up any gears. We want this to be the one that soaks up all the gears. That's also what's using up all the planks here. Yes, I know you can't get all the materials. We're working on it.
And I know we're just at our housing cap here, so I will need to be building more houses soon. But we'll probably just follow the same uh, the same design pattern here. Uh, I'm deciding. I just still need to decide where I want my next group of houses. Probably somewhere down here. Might make some room over here in this dry area. Might cut a path through some of our wheat and what have you. Because we're more or less drowning in this stuff. Um, but we can't get it all processed just yet. One more day we should have a grist mill going. I mean, granted, it's not going to have much time to do do much of anything. Three homeless. Okay, let's, let's start planning out our next uh, housing project here. Yeah, because we're probably going to have to trim back some of this. Hmm. Don't want you hanging off the side. Now I want to start it from the back back end here. Just to make sure we have the room. So yeah, if we put you like that. And then like that. And then like that, and like that, and we get ourselves our decoration and get our shrubbery right there in the middle. All right, so here's what we do. Um, we rip up that and these that will be our uh, journey on here and we'll build the second floor storage facility same as before but we want to build the all four base houses first all right so once that's down we can get a stairway down here And then we'll get another stairway down here. And what the hey, we can get a um, couple of things of wheat planted up here. All right, this is all going nicely. Still working on gears. Yeah, I don't know if we're actually going to get this grist mill built, but even if we do, it's not going to operate until the next uh, wet season. All right, water is good. Oh, that's uh, farmed it. I. Yeah, they're starting to build these, so let's make sure that these know what they're supposed to have. You are my my friend, supposed to have. Yeah, we'll make you the bread one. Actually, we'll we'll save bread for the end because we don't actually have it yet. But one of these is going to be specifically for bread. You're going to be for grilled potatoes. You are going to be for carrots. And then the last one will be for bread. Yeah, using up lots of planks for these uh, these stairways and whatnot, but that's why we have the two of them cranking them out. All right, there's our uh, there's our suspension bridge. Okay, got a couple of these taken down so that we can now get you down here. And that will give them access to the rest, to clearing the rest of these. 
I'm just waiting for this thing to get popped. They're already adding the logs to it, so this should be done pretty shortly. Just need one more beaver. And then one more beaver to actually build the thing. Thank you, beaver. All right, yeah, you're going to be bred, even though we don't have any and cannot make any at the moment. So you will sit uh, idle for the moment, but I want to reserve the space to make sure nothing else gets dumped in there. Unconnected building. What do you mean, unconnected building? Are you kidding me? That does not count as a pathway? It worked when I was testing this thing. Did I have the... I must have had the thing going the opposite direction. Oh, fiddle faddle. Yep. We need to flip this around, then. That's obnoxious. Yep, that's the... that's the... that's the... the dig right there. Now I was I knew because I was I was testing this model before and I guess I had the bri the suspension bridge going the other direction and it did not give me that problem. So I guess we have to rebuild that suspension bridge. But luckily that's not the end of the world. Waiting for nutrients. We've got berries. Oh, we actually built the grist mill. <laughs> just as the uh, just as the drought starts, we built the grist mill. Yep, and just as the drought starts, the water stops flowing. Alright, what I think I will do is pause these breeding pods um, for um, for our drought season anyway, because they use up water. Oh, that's not going to work on this either. Alright, I might need to revisit this design. This worked better on paper than I, when I was originally designing this little rooftop uh, thing and, and trying to be clever with this. But oh no, not this thing. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll test out a few other iterations with this. But essentially, this is what, what I had in mind was, was having rooftop supplies to make house, so you can get housing, uh, aesthetics, um, and um, water and food of all types all in one area so that they can then go, you know, fulfill all their needs efficiently and then go off and be productive. Um, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!